So I'm going to consider this as one of my landmark videos. I'm just going to be sharing a lot of opinions and if you know anything about my YouTube channel, it's all about opinionated content. I make a lot of stuff regarding what I think about Pokemon Go, the direction that Niantic is taking it, or when it comes to different mechanics or different announcements, I always share my opinions. And today I really want to talk about Pokemon Go Fest 2020. And that's going to be the basis for this video. It might get pretty emotional. I'm going to be sharing a lot of excitement, but I'm also going to be sharing a lot of my reservations and kind of reflect on how this year has been so far because of course 2020 has been a very interesting year with a lot of the stuff that's been going on. All right, so let's get right into it. How's it going everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Count Jinsula and today I am going to be talking about Pokemon Go Fest 2020. Now of course Niantic just announced how it's going to go down this year and it looks like they're going to be continuing their theme of making Pokemon Go completely stay at home. Pokemon Go is a game that's designed to be completely playable outside of your home. Now unless you're living under a Pokestop and a gym, it's not something that you could play from home. You can enjoy certain elements of it like PvP and using incense, but overall the bulk of Pokemon Go has always been about leaving your home, going out and exploring, and meeting up with different people in your local communities to play the game together. Pokemon Go has always been revolutionary in an age where people do not need to leave their home to get all of the information that they need, to get any groceries, even and it's just been something that has been very positive for the lives of many people including myself. As a huge Pokemon fan for pretty much the entirety of my life, a game like this was always the dream and the very concept of going out and finding Pokemon in the real world has always been something that I never thought could be possible. We've seen so many amazing things as Pokemon fans through this game. We've been able to interact with other Pokemon fans that we normally would not have met. We've been able to build up our local communities through a lot of different activities. We've been able to even experience the feeling of discovering a Pokemon for the first time. And of course I'm talking about through Meltan. And Niantic has done such a tremendous work throughout the years just improving the game from essentially a broken state and adding a whole bunch of different things that have excited us as players like community days and of course Pokemon Go Fest. Pokemon Go Fest ultimately is the culmination of what this game is all about. It's about bringing communities together from all around the world to celebrate this game. It's about collecting a lot of special and rare Pokemon and overall it was the centerpiece of this game. It's just the one event that we always looked forward to throughout every year. And yes of course Pokemon Go Fest has always had its ups and downs. In fact the very first Pokemon Go Fest was an unmitigated disaster. But of course, the second Pokemon Go Fest that we had was an absolute success. And I was fortunate enough to interact with members of Niantic during this particular Pokemon Go Fest. And you could see the passion among people who work at Niantic. I think a lot of people do not realize that Niantic do actually care about this game and they do find a lot of joy out of seeing people playing this game. And that sentiment was strengthened with the following Pokemon Go Fest, which was Pokemon Go Fest of last year. They really wanted to expand on this game and expand the enjoyment that we have as players when it comes to this game. Which is why it does not surprise me that with 2020 and the special circumstances that surrounded it, more specifically with COVID-19 and all of the quarantines, well Niantic had to move fast in order to make their game still playable. And the adjustments that they've been making with this game throughout this year have been phenomenal. When it came to community days, when it came to 
special research and when it came to different things like limited research events like they've been doing a phenomenal job fine-tuning their game to make sure that we can still enjoy it even if we're stuck in quarantine and yes it hasn't gone well for everyone but for the most part it's been very positive changes we do not know if these changes are going to be temporary but when it comes to this game it's still enjoyable from home as it currently is which leads me to Pokemon Go Fest. This was the one event that I had a lot of question marks with and it looks like Niantic finally responded. They finally communicated with us their intentions for this landmark event and it looks like they're going to be continuing the theme of playing from home with this event. And to be honest with you guys, I'm pretty excited about that. I mean, just the idea of a global Pokemon Go Fest that's not limited to a specific area, I think has a lot of huge potential. But at the same time, I'm also really worried. I have a lot of different concerns. Pokemon Go Fest has always been some of the most positive experiences I've ever had when it comes to Pokemon Go. Meeting other trainers from around the world, whether through Discord in order to set up some different trades, or even more so for me, it was meeting a lot of other YouTubers and content creators like jkim.net and Hybrid Mongoose. Like a lot of these people I've developed a lot of close friendships with and we communicate with each other still to this day and it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Pokemon Go Fest. jkim.net and Hybrid Mongoose, I would say are my closest buds when it comes to this platform. And it's something that we always look forward to is seeing each other at Pokemon Go Fest. But unfortunately that may not happen. But of course, jkim.net did recently get married. So congratulations to him. Hopefully I'll be able to see him really soon so I can give my personal congrats. And yeah, it's just really unfortunate because with our current circumstances throughout the entire world, we're not going to be able to have some of the experiences that we've always been looking forward to. But regardless of that, with all of that said, I have to say that I'm really happy that Niantic is continuously thinking of their players. They're continuously trying to innovate in light of everything that's going on. They've been adapting constantly when it comes to COVID-19. For a game that is all about going out and playing and being in a situation that makes that impossible, Niantic didn't just sit on their hands and do nothing about it. They've been doing a really good job fine-tuning their game, adding different features that were probably on the back burner like remote rating and pretty soon remote invites and lucky trades that you could do remotely. A lot of these things they've been trying to put out and you have to give credit where credit is due. But of course players are still asking for more like with remote lucky trades. I think that's something that needs to come out really soon but I have a suspicion that it will. But yeah if you look at a big picture Niantic has been doing a phenomenal job adapting to the worldwide pandemic. And I'm really hoping that eventually we will be able to go back to some sort of normalcy, but we will take a lot of great things that we've received along the way. Now bringing all this back to Pokemon Go Fest, I'm really excited at the idea of a stay at home edition of Pokemon Go Fest. As much as I'm bummed out that I won't be able to get the same experiences that I'm always looking forward to when it comes to Pokemon Go Fest, the implications are massive when it's a stay at home edition of Pokemon Go Fest. First and foremost, this will be something that anyone can enjoy from anywhere in the world. And if they fine tune it well enough, then the positive experiences could outweigh the disappointment of not being able to go to Pokemon Go Fest and meeting other trainers and enjoying it in a specific way. I'm really curious at the idea of there being a huge weekend long festivity that we can enjoy from home that would be equal to the experience that we would get from traveling the world and meeting trainers from all around the world and different things like that. It's all going to be dependent on what Niantic does with this event. Are they just going to give us a special research that you know, we'll just award us some rare Pokemon and just slap the Pokemon Go Fest label on it. I'm really worried that that's what it's going to be, but I highly doubt it. I feel like Niantic is fully aware of the impact that Pokemon Go Fest has on their player base and their community, and they want to make sure that the experience is special regardless if we're playing from home. So yeah, let's all be optimistic regarding this stay at home version of Pokemon Go Fest. And again, I am slightly bummed out that I won't 
won't be able to meet a lot of the trainers that I typically only see at Pokemon Go Fest, but at the same time, I think we will manage and it's going to make that reunion in 2021 that much better. But in any case, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to share with you guys all of my thoughts and all of the different things that I've been feeling up until now. It's certainly been a wild ride in 2020 and I'm sure a lot of you have felt that as well. I think we'll manage. I think we'll get through this and eventually we will return to normalcy. I'm just praying and hoping that it comes really soon. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video everyone. Make sure you share your thoughts down below. Let's have a great discussion and as always, I am Count Chinsula. Hope you're being safe and I'll catch you all later.